Eats and some shield season one episode three thoughts this episode is called the asset so spoilers for the mcu leading up to and including this episode another episode i love so before i get into it the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the sag after strikers and then there are a bunch of links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike so I, yeah, getting into the episode, I quite appreciate that, like, at the start, it seems like, oh, you know, just completely normal truck. You know, they found a guy who really looks like a trucker, and, yeah, you know, but then there's, like, these, you know, shield, uh, what are they, like, convoy, you know, and this attack that violates gravity. And, yeah, pretty early in the episode, the sort of theme of the episode is set up. Will Sky commit or bail? Which is, of course, something, you know, when she seemingly reveals, or, yeah, when she reveals that she is listening to Quinn, you know, that's, you know, that's when it, it reaches, it, it goes right up to the edge, you know, is she going to commit or bail? And, yeah, Ward says the truth serum was fake, but, you know, Coulson seems to suggest that it is real and Sky can't quite get a straight answer. Yeah, the Old West stuff I quite liked. And, yeah, so we meet Quinn and... You know, he, he points out to, to Hall, you know, you're you're going to thank me for thanking of you. And yeah, the, the episode makes clear, you know, Quinn donates a lot, but he is still a bad guy because of his practices. So yeah, very left leaning, so I approve. And I get the sense that Fitz always has an idea for how a monkey could could help with the plan. Let's see, and <laughs> yeah, Sky says several times that she can can go in. She can be the one to go in, and she got an evite. And we learn some about Ward's bad childhood, which helps explain why he's so intense and antisocial. You know, this is very personal for him. It's not a job. You know, like, Coulson is also, you know, Ward and Coulson have the same goal, but Coulson is significantly more capable of, of being chill. He isn't always, but he's, it, it's within him to be so and I quite appreciate that before it's revealed yeah they were feeding her information you know it seems like oh she she I guess knows these people but no it was 100% they were telling her you know and and the thing with you know who are you and and the guy starts oh I'm sorry it's his 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 English is not the best you know he's not saying like, you don't belong here, it's more like, oh, hello, who are you? Like, he's he's saying, you know, to, that, yeah, that's, this is amazing, it's like Siri if it worked. And turns out Quinn is well aware of the rising tide and would like to hire Sky. And... Yeah, and, and, you know, she's trying to, to find a way into the office, but can't quite, and he catches her trying to, and then she writes, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. is listening on some of the paper. And, you know, and once, you know, at, at this point, it's like, okay, is she a double agent? Like, she was pretending to work for S.H.I.E.L.D., but she actually wants, she does want to work with Quinn, or is she a triple agent, you know, that, but 
pretending she'll work for Quinn. She's actually still working for Shield. And they do have some some good interactions and I do you know appreciate the I I you know he says I I didn't lie or I wasn't lying, something like that. I don't think he does lie in this entire episode. Um or or that this episode has like a, a clear indication that he was lying. Like he steals he steals other people's ideas and he abuses uh, you know he he does things wrong but he doesn't lie that and you know she did manage to to you know she she checks the the little thing to see oh yeah close enough to internet access so let's see and yeah and and it becomes clear it was hall who leaked to, to Quinn and hopefully cleaned up after himself. And I do like, you know, Phil saying, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Dr. Hall, I, my plan did not account for you saying that. And yeah, like straight up, you know, Hall knew that the, the gravitational, you know, he he does believe that it is right to, you know. He knows he'll be killing innocent people, but he thinks it's the only way to to get. You know, he also doesn't trust Shield to to do the right thing. And I like that Sky does manage to, you know, pull off the move that Ward was trying to teach her, and gets the gun. Not really a fan of you know pretty close to the end yeah actually around that time you know one of the yeah a, a character says uh you've got balls or she's got balls something like that and then she says thank you but yuck now obviously i'm not saying there's something wrong with a cis woman you know not wanting her for herself to be trans but considering that Joss Whedon has said and written into his shows transphobic things yeah I gotta say that really struck me as, as transphobic and I appreciate the detail that Dr. Hall is apparently still alive inside the goo at the very very end like right before the episode I, I think it's like his arm that sticks out and then it's just yeah that was that was cool um messed up but you know cool in that way um, I like that Melinda was like, you know, I've already seen more combat than I was hoping to this assignment. You know, you, you told me I'm not here to, to fight. And I think that might be about, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot to say about this episode. Um Wow, yeah, I guess I guess that might actually be right I right, yes. When when Quinn, you know, he says that he hasn't been lying, you know, yeah, like when you know he invited all these people there and he openly says, I want to fight Shield. You know, I am I am opposed to Shield. Which is the kind of thing that you know you could understand if he would lie and claim that he didn't want to go against them, you know. But that, yeah, right. I I like the the bit with the the shield that that has to be you know turned off, and there's like three seconds before it reboots, and War just barely. I wouldn't have, you know, just barely makes it through. I wouldn't have hated if there was, like, a shot that showed that, like, part of his shoe got cut off by the shield or something. Anyway. Um, the effects on the, the goo, very, very nicely done. That's something that's very difficult to get exactly right. And, you know, it's not a very effect-heavy episode. I suppose none of them have been so far. So, you know, they could... <coughs> They could spend most of the time and money set, you know, set aside for CGI went to that. You know, other than that, just a little bit with the shield. But yeah, 
you know, the, the thing with, you know, Fitz, 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 uh, and, and Simmons is like, repeating his name is not going to, you know, does not increase our chances. Oh, I guess it does. And the, um, I think that might be more or less. Right, I like that, you know, you know, Ward gets to the, the building and he's like, wow, this place is humongous. Where am I going? And someone says, Southwest. And next time we see him, he catches up to Sky. And it's like, well, yeah, you know, yes, the place is massive, but they know where Sky is, they know where Ward is. At that point, it's just a matter of directing him there, and we don't need to see him, you know, we, you don't need to cut to him every so often showing, oh, he's still headed there. No, you know, we, we can piece together ourselves that he must have been, you know, and yeah, I think that might, it, right, I like the tension about if Coulson is okay for being back in the field, you know, several characters are like, are you sure about this? Because it's, you know, being a specialist and being a field agent are not the same thing, but Melinda does not want to, actually, I guess, Phil, even before she said that, he might have already had the the idea in his head that he should be in the field for for this at least that might be all that I have just gonna make sure if that is something that I need to deal with okay yeah um I th um, I'm slightly torn on you know at, at one point you know they're wondering how did Sky you know get into to the office and you know Fitz without thinking just blurts out well it must have been her her you know and the others look at him and then he finally says boobs you know and it's like on the one hand like I I appreciate that they didn't just like you know cuz like in, of course you know he's not you know it's it's not unexpected f for him to put his foot in his mouth like that uh, but on you know at at the end of the day it is still unchecked misogyny nobody really like he doesn't really have to pay for making that comment and it also just feels like i mean He's he's met Sky. She's like, you know, there's a, she, yeah. It's not like, you know, yeah. She's she's not used to being a field agent let, yet, but like he does he just think? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure because because he. They seem to get along fine, and she's clearly demonstrated that there's stuff she is really good at. Yeah. Um, I think that might be... Yeah, just one more thing about the Old West. I really appreciate it. Like, they really went for it. Like, you know, dude's trying to live off the grid, so he's on a horse and he's got a shotgun just in case someone asks questions that he doesn't like and you know before he can fire the shotgun Ward grabs it gets him on the the ground and he was apparently paid in gold like they didn't have to go as far as they did they they did that because they wanted to and I quite appreciate it it was it was very very fun not necessary but fun Uh, yeah, that is everything for this episode, so maybe there is no truth serum. 